Hello to our fans online. I'm John Muller. And I'm Paula Ferris with the top stories on this Wednesday, January 2nd. Well, a late night vote in the House sent a deal to avoid the fiscal cliff to the president. The compromise extends tax cuts for all workers earning less than $400,000 a year. It also prevents a tax hike on estates valued at less than $5 million and extends unemployment benefits that were set to expire for some 2 million folks. But the fighting over spending cuts, uh, that's just beginning. No, Lawmakers probably going to throw some haymakers deferred making a decision on those and we'll deal with that in roughly two months. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. All right. Secretary of State Clinton is spending her fourth day in a New York hospital being treated for that blood clot. Chelsea Clinton has been at her mother's bedside and yesterday she tweeted quote thank you for all the good thoughts my mom's way the ones that you sent I'm messing it up a little bit but grateful to all her doctors that she'll make a full recovery. Now it's still not clear how soon Clinton will be able to go home. And a major new medical study found that a few extra pounds might be okay. Researchers found that people who were slightly overweight had less risk of dying than people of average weight, believe it or not. They found other factors like high cholesterol were far more important in predicting death than weight alone. The findings, we should note, were true only for those slightly overweight, not obese. Can we order a pepperoni pizza now? Uh, yeah, stuffed crust, it. please. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> An emotional reunion at the Rose Parade there between a soldier stationed in Afghanistan and this four-year-old boy. The boy and his mom thought they won a contest to go to the parade. While they were there, Sergeant First Class Eric Paz rolled up on a float. Mom and her son were posing for a picture. When they turned around and spotted Paz, the boy rushed into his dad's arms. Aww. Love that story. One of the first things that little boy asked his dad was, uh, how long are you going to be here? And he said, we'll discuss that at a later date. Because <laughs> yeah, he's actually he go leaving. Back, right? He's got to leave later this week, but months of planning to, to pull this one off. And congrats. It was a great surprise. Awesome story. Mm -hmm. All right, get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Paula Ferris. Thanks for watching. Happy day two of 2013. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.